Well, today we were erasing bullying, so we had people come in and go with white paint and wipe out the, the words and the experiences that were put on the mural from other people's experiences to try and give that cathartic effect of uh, wiping out and having power over a word that's possibly been used against you in the past. Um, so as to build a community effort in uh, taking steps towards bringing awareness and action against bullying. It made me feel um, empowered to, to strike them out. Uh, coming across the words for them for the first time was uh, a bit disconcerting to see them that, uh, that bold, that big in uh, such a public space. My heart aches for all these young kids across the country that have to deal with so many things that I didn't have to deal with when I was young, like social media and Facebook and everything, where bullying is just taken to another level. And um, I just, you know, I feel for them and I, I hope that they can get past it and that they can realize that they are enough and that they are amazing and that, you know, they'll find their place in the world as they get older. I was bullied since I was. Uh, six or seven. got really, really bad when I was eight. I was physically attacked and I have a scar on my shoulder because of it uh, by a group of teenage boys who were a little bit older than me. They didn't really know what they were doing. So, um, and I was too young to really understand the, um, what really happened in that point of my life. Um, but when I was uh, going through high school, that's when the bullying got very intense. The, the most powerful part for me was watching it being whited out, more so than seeing it in its finished state now. I think that um, watching people step up and take their turns in um, erasing those words was the bit that has, um, you know, the bit that I'll remember the most or the bit that was the most impactful for me. It got really bad and I went through depression and I wrote multiple suicide notes, um, attentive, attempted suicide once, and it got to a point where I couldn't handle it and I felt really lost and I was so sick and tired of uh, campaigns going on at the time being so sugar-coated and p parents using the excuse of kids will be kids and um, um, you know it's a way for them to toughen up. It's not an excuse anymore and it's not something that should be an excuse in the first place and you know with this campaign it, it's so raw and and so cathartic and so spiritual, it, it, it really brings back all the memories for me. So it, it was definitely therapeutic, but in a way very difficult to white out the word because, you know, I had faced it in the past and now I'm refacing it. Well, speaking from someone who was bullied uh, quite badly in high school, uh, I think there's a lot of shame uh, on the part of the people who were bullied to actually come forward and talk about it. Uh, a lot of shame on the part of the people who participated. Like it's quite a complex uh, thing that's going on. You know, you have people that are actually doing the billing, people who stood by and did nothing, and the people who were bullying. And uh, it's quite emotionally difficult, I think, for people to address that. I would yeah. say, you know, shame. I would say shame. Yeah, Certainly yeah. for me, it was shame. You know, yeah, like yeah. it took years uh, before I could actually. Uh, God, not until I was in my late 30s before I started telling family and stuff. It's amazing. It's incredible how uh, the, the victim feels like it's his or her responsibility, Absolutely. and it's Absolutely. not. You know, it's the, the person yeah. who's doing the bullying, and it's their responsibility, and it has to stop. Yeah. You can also see kind of some reflection and some, some deep thinking going on in, in people. Um, some people do want to talk about that, some people don't want to talk about that. But um, that's, that's really what needs to happen, is people need to, to talk about it, because that's how, that's how change happens, and that's how we can um, can really come together and do something about it is just talking about it and um, having starting a conversation. It was really powerful seeing how quickly it actually took yeah, a lot of people to erase bullying, really, if we do get all together.